Hello everyone, welcome back to Life is Aisha. Today we're doing the fall favorites tag. Um, fall is like my favorite season, so I was happy that I was tagged in this video. Um, I was tagged with my girl Coco. I will be inserting her Instagram name somewhere down below here. But she tagged me and I'm going to be tagging some other fellow YouTubers that I feel like will actually do the tag. Or, I mean, I'm just going to tag you all if you don't do it. Just watch my video, you know, that's all. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> but um, it's like a list of, I think it's like 10 questions. So I'm just going to start like at the top and work my way down. So the first question is, um, what is your favorite fall candle? So I have two. I know I'm not doing this right because you're supposed to pick one thing, but I've never been known to follow rules. <laughs> so my first one is called Coconut Sandalwood, and it's a candle from Yankee Candle. And that's just how the label of it looks. It has three wicks on it. I love Yankee Candles. Um, I love Bath, Bath and Body Works as well, but Yankee Candle is like, it holds a special place to me just because I feel as though these just last longer. To me, like if I use a Bath and Body Works candle, um, which I have a lot of those as well, but it's like they just burn out so quick. But this one will last at least, if I burn it every night, it'll last probably majority of that week, if not the whole week. But it smells like so good. It has fragrance notes at the bottom of the candle. And it's creamy island coconut, luxurious sandalwood, and a hint of jasmine. So it's it's very like a sandalwood. It has like a wood smell, but not like outdoors woodsy. You just will have to smell it to get what I'm saying. But I love anything that has like sandalwood. Or if I'm getting something bad from Body Works, teak wood. Those are like my favorite type of candles because they just have like this warm fuzzy feel for the fall let me know down below if you have this candle and also this one is not like a super fall one but it's called champagne toast this one has notes of chateau champagne wild berries and sweet orange and it smells so good as well and it's also a three-week candle i bought it because of not only the color of it but i just love the packaging of it this is like the lid that it comes on it and isn't that just beautiful but um it's called champagne toast so i guess it is kind of fall like toast champagne toast but um it's, it smells like really good it has like a sweet smell as well and it also has kind of like um it did, did it say berries yeah it has like a berry kind of undertone as well so definitely check out these two candles um they're both from yankee candle next tag question is your favorite fall lipstick and I'm actually wearing one right now, a brown lip color, but it's not like my favorite one. I just wanted to wear it because it was a little more subtle today for work. But these are my three favorite fall lipsticks. And I will just do a little quick swatch. The first two are by Lip Bar. And I know I've swatched these before in probably several videos because anytime it comes around to me doing a fave, I have to list these just because I wear these not only during the fall, but year round. The first one is Boss Lady, and these are um, vegan friendly lipsticks, and they're by Black Owned Company. The first one is Boss Lady, and that's the color of it. Color of it, and it's like a deep red. It really reminds me of Ruby Woo or um, Riri Woo by Mac. It reminds me of that red. It's like a deep red, but I like it because it's actual liquid lipstick. And I always run through my Ruby Woo all the time, so I really do need to repurchase that one. The next, the next color is called Savage, and it sounds like it would be like the name of like a Fenty lipstick, but it's just this deep brown color. These both should still be available. They actually sell lip bar inside of Target now, so if you haven't heard of the brand or if you want to check them out, check your local Target and also check the website. I have all the information in the description box. And next, um, the last one is an Old Faithful. It's LAX by ColourPop. I'm sure at this point, mostly everyone owns this. This is my favorite burgundy lipstick for fall and year-round, as I stated before. And that's a swatch of that one. So red, brown, and burgundy are like my go-to fall lip colors. Next tag question is, what is my favorite fall drink? And I don't have it in front of me because I spill things. Just being honest, I spill things, so I don't have it in front of me. But I do have my favorite little mug I put it in. And my favorite fall drink has is hands down 
hot chocolate. I'm not a super coffee person. Like I'll drink a Frappuccino here and there, but I'm more of like a tea type of person. But my favorite fall drink is hot chocolate or hot cocoa, whichever one you want to call it. And I always put it in a mug. So this is my favorite mug here. And it says, put your lipstick on and hustle. And I just thought it was like super girly, super cute and super me. But, um, it has lipstick on it in pink and then it has like this gold at the bottom of it. I ordered this about a year and a half to two years ago. Um, I ordered it like actually around this time of year, Black Friday, um, because the girl, she, um, she's like an independent, well at this point, I'm not sure where she is now, but she had like this independent, like black owned company on Instagram and she had a website also. So if I can still find her information, I will list it down below. But I get so many compliments and so many people ask me about this mug so yes i'm definitely going to share where i got it from but um i always put my hot cocoa in here and it has just like oh, the regular thermos top on it it's like a rubber top so you pull it off so that's a little plug for my favorite mug to drink my favorite drink out of the next fall tag question is what is your favorite blush i'm not usually into um blushes just because i feel as though because i'm a kind of lighter complexion sometimes a lot of blushes will kind of make me look I don't know kind of clownish like you know clown makeup like they have the real rosy cheeks and even in the winter months colder months my cheeks naturally get a little rosy or red so I try to kind of stick away from any blushes that are not um are not, are not kind of close to my skin tone color but this is one that i got um from ulta and it was for like my birthday and i've been using it for a while now and it's called party i've mentioned it in all my videos it's by tarte and it's a pale pink color so that's how it looks as you can see i've hit pan on it <laughs> so i do need to repurchase it and i don't even know if this is the full size one like i said i got this for my it's a birthday gift you know they give it a little mini size ones so this is probably not the full size hopefully they still offer this color or something similar because i will be repurchasing it very soon but i have it on now um it's not too bold so you may can see you may not very subtle though so um if you're like me you don't want anything that's just too bold too bright and too out there definitely check out this one the next question is what is your favorite fall clothing item so um that would definitely be sweaters which is what i have on now i love sweaters for the fall um they just make me feel super comfy and warm and stuff because like i said i am not about the trying to be super cute and it's cold outside. I definitely dress for the weather. Um, yeah, sweaters are my go-to um, items for fall. Okay, favorite fall movie. My favorite fall movie, it's kind of hard to say that because most people, more often than not, after Halloween, they just rush and straight go to Christmas. My favorite fall movie, I would say, will probably be The Wiz. Just because I've been watching that movie around the fall season majority of my life <laughs> and um it, it never gets old i love the movie like we laugh at everything again and we make fun of certain parts of the movie so definitely the wiz um would be my favorite fall-esque type of movie because after halloween you don't really have movies that are meant just for fall favorite fall tv show um that's another hard one because i watch a lot of tv like a whole whole lot I'll say this, um, just because Black Lightning comes back, um, like when fall begins, that would be my favorite fall TV show, even though I've been so terrible this year with keeping up with it, I have to catch up on it. I think I said that in my last vlog that I have to catch up on it, but, um, I'm like two or three episodes behind at this point, but, um, yep, so Black Lightning, um, and it has Chris Williams in it, he was Scooter. <laughs> I'm living single so yeah I've been like I, I like him as an actor um and I just like the show as a whole his favorite Thanksgiving food my favorite Thanksgiving food is all of it <laughs> but um I mean I've been you know drafted to make the mac and cheese for Thanksgiving this year which this is my first time making it for my entire family as a whole i've been making it like for just like my intermediate family but like for pretty much everyone this will be my first time making it for everyone i've bought it to different dinners though so people know how it tastes hopefully i get thumbs up across the board but i'm not worried <laughs> but um 
Yeah, so I guess mac and cheese would be one of my favorites just because growing up that was one of my favorite foods anyway, not just for Thanksgiving, but a specific Thanksgiving food. I would have to say like dressing. Um, my sister actually does a really good seafood dressing. So hint, hint, ma'am, if you're watching this, which you should be watching it, but um, yes, you need to <laughs> do that seafood dressing this year. Also, um, sweet potato pie, that's another good um, Thanksgiving food. And the last question, which I'm kind of glad is last, is favorite Halloween costume? <laughs> um, you all know I'm not hugely into Halloween. The only thing I do for Halloween is like I do a makeup video on here for Halloween, but I don't celebrate it. I never celebrated as a child, as you all know. So Halloween has never been a big pivotal part of my life. But I would say, like, this year I did do, like, a HBCU theme, um, Historical Black College and University theme, where I wore different, um, I wore three different shirts from Black-owned businesses, and um, I took little different pics from, like, Living Single, like, different 90s shows, Living Single, A Different World, and um, Hillman College, which was the college that was from the Cosby's and from um, A Different World. And I did like different looks, so I probably insert pics somewhere. But um, other than that, that wasn't really like a costume. It was just kind of celebrating it a little bit. So I don't have a favorite Halloween costume. I just don't. But um, I did like a Halloween zombie makeup look. If anyone's interested in still watching that, it'll be up here in the card. But yeah, that's going to bring us to the end of this tag. I hope you all enjoy watching this. I enjoy doing it. As you can see, fall is near and dear to my heart. And I have my little fall sweater colors on and stuff. I love orange and brown for fall. Um, so, and I'm loving the fall weather, even though tomorrow or sometime later this week, they're saying we're going to get snow, which is kind of a big deal in Mississippi, snow in November, because we'll be lucky if we get it in January usually. So in November, it's kind of a big deal. So, I mean... We shall see. I guess next video, I'll let you all know if we got any of that snow. But yep, that's going to bring us to the end of this video. I will be um, in my description box. Be sure to check it. And it'll either have links to other videos of other people participating in this tag. And I will be listing each person name by name that I will be tagging. So be sure to check out their channels. But as well. always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.